We are now ready to use the toolbar on the left. The toolbar will be the same for you and students. You'll notice on this toolbar, they'll be able to write with a series of pens. If you notice, you will have different ones. You'll have to hold down on that pen and then they appear. Did you notice also they disappear after a while when you don't use them? So just go ahead and hold down. The first one is a very fine tipped and I'll have to change. If you look at the third one down, the color's on black right now, so you can't see anything. So let's make it yellow. We'll go back to our pen. And we'll show you the different widths for each pen. That fourth one you'll notice is more like a paintbrush and so it will have that watercolor type feel to it. The fifth one down is an A. If you notice, it does say handwriting recognition. When I write that, you're going to notice that it's going to snap and actually make it very legible and clean. That is great for students that may not have the best handwriting. I've also tried it before by just doing it like this and it comes up so you can do cursive and have it come up as well. You can also have shape recognition. Shape recognition is going to allow you to make perfect shapes. The second button is erase. If you notice, if you hold down, you can clear the entire board. If you just click on it and then go out from it, you can erase anything that's been written but I can't erase anything that is like shapes or recognition. Those will have to be moved another way. So these can be erased. Then you can, from underneath the color, you'll see a lasso. What you can do, and I was talking about those shapes that you couldn't move, you can actually move them if you circle and then you can move it anywhere around including if you wanted to erase it, you could bring it down here to the very bottom. You'll notice that a delete will come up and you could put it here. The next feature underneath is a post-it. You can say anything you want to. As you type, the words get a little smaller. You can also click on the little dot in the right of the post-it and you'll notice that you'll be able to change the colors of the post-its too. You could differentiate with students and have them use different colors for different groups. And then you would also be able to take that post-it and pinch out to make it bigger or pinch in to make it smaller. So that'd be great for a teacher to make comments as well. And the last one, you'll notice it has a pen but it has a little plus next to it. You'll be able to doodle anything and then it will be able to try to match what you're doodling. So in the middle here, I don't have a lot of space left, but I'm going to try to draw a heart. It recognizes the heart and I have several hearts here that I can choose from. I can use this one, I can use this one, and then I'll choose that one. At the very bottom of the toolbar, you'll notice a plus sign. If I click that plus sign, you're going to notice that there's a whole new toolbar and that will be our next featured video.